welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer and it is really good to have your company here with me on the show this evening. Now we have got a very special guest for you. He rose to fame with the group Kajagoogoo. Oh yes, Lamol is joining me on the show this evening and it is just brilliant. You are in for a very entertaining hour. Uh, so here is what happened when I caught up with him. Lamal, it's great to have you on the show. Hi, Hayley. How are you? I'm good. I've got my cup of tea, got my chocolate. I'm so jealous right now. If you I'm hear some strange chocolate. noises between the videos, that's me eating the chocolate. I do apologise in advance. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, we all remember you from the 80s. We loved your voice. We love your hair. And I've got yep. to say, your hair's looking very slick right now. You like it? Yeah. I'm just grateful that at my age now, I've still got hair. You're very lucky. <laughs> Brilliant. But let's talk about your single, Too Shy, because I like to sing this totally out of tune, may I add. Uh, but it is one of my favourite songs and I really can't get it out of my head, honestly. Well, that's, that was the idea, you see. In the, in the industry, we call it... Well, actually, I don't know. In the mainstream, we call it a hook. So it hooks mm. you, you see. It does, definitely. That catchy chorus, as they all, all the pros refer to. Um, yeah, Too Shy, our first single produced by Nick Rhodes from Duran Duran. And yeah, so it's true that you met him in a, in a club. You met him in Embassy Club. I remember that. Oh, Bond Street. My little hangout. Yeah, it was a great nightclub. And I was yeah. waiting there. We used to see quite a few music and media people in there. Yeah. I saw Gary Newman and Boy George, Steve Strange. Uh, one night I served a drink to Nick Rhodes, uh, told him about my band, Kajigoogoo. Wow. And uh, he took our cassette. Remember those? I love a cassette. Bring back cassettes. They took it into EMI Records and they offered us a deal. The wow. rest, as they say. Absolutely. Uh, well, we're going to check out uh, Too Shy. It spent two weeks at number one in 1983. Number five in America. Woo! Great success. Uh, check it out. Here is Lamal with Too Shy. With his big hair, and if you look closely, you see my nice 23-year-old nipples. <laughs> check this out. Cheers. Now, Lamal, I want to talk to you about your hit Never Ending Story. Um, because I know it was a time when you had to really prove yourself as a solo singer, didn't you? Yeah. So the band split up after just one album, unbelievably. Um, yeah. And three hit singles. Crazy. Um, and then uh, EMI Records asked me to go to Tokyo to perform at this massive event called the Tokyo Music Festival. And while I was there, I, went, I met the producer of Never Ending Story, an Italian uh, maestro, really, legend, Giorgio Moroder. Wasn't he the guy that wrote uh, What a Feeling, Flashdance, is that right? And Top Gun uh, theme Whoa. from uh, You Take My Breath Away by Berlin. Wow. He's got three Academy Awards for movie soundtracks, so I was working with the best. Yes. You really were. Uh, well, I love the film. I love the song. Um, it hit number four in 1984. Check this out. Welcome back to the Memory Lane 80 show on Spotlight TV. I'm Hayley Palmer. And as always, I really love having your company here with me on a Saturday night. We're in the right place, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are talking to Lamal. Uh, just a brilliant guest this evening. Here is what happened when I talked to him some more. Now, Lamar, I want to talk to you about your brand new single, uh, your first solo single for eight years. I listened to it. I was pretty emotional when I was listening to it. It's just beautiful. That's a great reaction. That's fantastic. It's an emotional song, really. The journey of our protagonist is hurting from good old fashioned love. Um, he's in a dark place and I think the wonderful thing about that journey is I think it's part of life's rich tapestry. I think most of us have been there. What yeah. a wonderful thing to get through the other side though and start learning to love yourself again. Yeah. The strange thing, the strange thing about the song, Hayley, is that 
even though the chorus lyrically is a sort of lament of unrequited love, it is, it sounds and feels optimistic. And that's the yeah. kind of, yeah, it's the kind of accident we look for really as, as songwriters. Yeah, I mean, you didn't write it from your own experience. You did write it from your own experience from ages ago, didn't you? But not from now. You're in a happy relationship. Is that right? I've been in a, yeah. I've been in a fantastic relationship for Aww. 26 years. Wow. What's the secret? <laughs> <laughs> Compromise. <laughs> uh, I might need to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think the secret is um, it's like a garden. A relationship you have to keep looking after it you've got to create memories not fights and uh trust takes time and um you become friends if you when you find your soulmate you're friends as well initially yeah. of course there's that you know that's passion and everything which is great but so um i was not in that headspace when i wrote this song but i've been there but it was yeah. about 30 years ago. And I never want to go back. <laughs> no, no. Oh, well, honestly, this is the most beautiful song. I keep playing this over and over again. It literally gives me goosebumps. Uh, here it is. Uh, your new song, Still in Love. Here it is. At night I can't sleep Cause I'm thinking of you Tossing, turning, stomach churning I'm cold but sweating too In the day I don't eat And I can't work at all Concentrating's just frustrating My life is in free fall Take pills for the pain Yes I do But it brings no relief Unrelenting Tormenting my heart It's deceased Why should I carry on Because nothing makes sense I'm qualified for suicide It would just be self-defense Still 
Now, Lamar, I have got a little fun 80s quiz for you because that's what we like to do here on the Memory Lane 80 show. Are you up for the challenge? Absolutely. <laughs> do you really mean that? <laughs> yes. Brilliant. OK, here let's we go. Put the little gray cells to, let's put the little <laughs> grey cells to work. Down. Absolutely. OK, here we go. Favourite song from the 80s? Favourite song? OK, well... Um, it's a tricky choice, obviously. You're talking a whole decade. But um, when people pick their favourite songs, there's usually an important memory with it, you know? There's some kind of nostalgic event. And for me, that song is going to be Upside Down by Diana Ross. Yes, tune. OK, best memory of the 80s? Well, um, getting to number one with Too Shy, of course. Um, our first Top of the Pops, um, I mean, these are personal memories, you know, um, meeting uh, Freddie Mercury. Wow. Having a chat at, at his party after the Wembley show. Amazing. Pretty amazing. We shared a cigarette. <laughs> what a claim to fame. Yeah, yeah. Um, I met... Princess Diana standing next to Boy George uh, oh. at a charity event at the Hippodrome, which was run by oh, Peter yeah. Stringfellow. That's right, yes. Uh, wow. I think probably my most favourite memory was meeting uh, the Carry On star, Kenneth Williams, at a TV studio up north. Wow, brilliant. OK, that's pretty impressive, I've got to say. You've blown me away with your answers there. Um, the thing you wish you could bring back from the 80s? Uh, my youth. <laughs> <laughs> but you look really young. But only if I could know what I know now. <laughs> this is true. Wise words. Property prices. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I think I'd bring back Top of the Pops. Michael Jackson's face before the cosmetic surgery. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, your favourite film from the 80s? OK, this is an easy one. It has to be Aliens with Sigourney Weaver, the sequel to Alien. That movie scared me so much. I remember I went to see Alien. Um, I was only like 18 on my motorbike and I was shaking on the motorbike going home after the film. I was <laughs> I was waiting with bated breath for the for the sequel and it didn't disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I think that would scare me to death. Uh, your favourite item of clothing from the 80s? OK, and I still have this, OK? It, I went to Tokyo uh, performing and they've got some great clothes there. I, I bought this beautiful sort of electric blue slash purple suit and Ooh. paid for it at the till. The, uh, um, the shop assistant said to me that Freddie Mercury had bought the same suit the week before. No. So I thought, well, if it's good enough for Freddie, it's good enough for me. And I've still got that suit. The shoulder pads are huge. <laughs> oh, we want you to wear it today. Never mind. But uh, that sounds incredible. Uh, now, we're going to play out your song, Ooh to be R, uh, which reached number seven in 1983. Love this tune as well. What, what memories does this bring back to you? Well, I've got Kenny Everett in the video, the great, the legend, oh. Kenny Everett. He was a Kajagoogoo fan. And uh, when we asked him to be in the video, he was just like, absolutely, I'm there. Wow. Yeah, so it was thrilled working with him. Brilliant. OK, well, here it is. Oots we are. Now, Lamar, I want to talk to you about I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. For me, I think I could only just make it in the Versace Hotel. Uh, but you, <laughs> you did incredible. I don't even know how you manage one night. I can't even do one night camping. I know. Uh, the, wor the worst thing about the first night was I got no sleep. So, you know, I'm, I'm in this hut with uh, the chef, Rosemary Schrager. 
and the door closes behind us. And then there is um, thousands of creatures being poured in through this hole in the wall. Spiders as big as your hand, about half a dozen of them. And I hate spiders. Yeah, me too. And, um, yeah, it was a it was a pretty tough night, but there was a challenge. You see, attached. If we, if Rosemary and I achieved it, we would arrive in the camp for the starving contestants with biscuits, tea, and coffee. So, and we we won we won that challenge. But the best part of that night was this kind of crazy karaoke at four thirty a.m. with Rosemary. We were so delirious from no sleep. Um, we just started singing, and she can't sing. <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> She's tone deaf, so it was a crazy, wacky moment. Uh, one of one of the best memories of that, and I'll never forget it. And what was the Versace Hotel like? Because that's my aim in life, Lamol. <laughs> <laughs> it's on your bucket list. It really is. It really is. I don't want to do the jungle, but the Versace Hotel, is it seven stars? Is that right? I was just going to say that. It calls itself a seven star hotel. Um, is okay. there such a thing? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I have to say it's pretty cool. Right. You know, you've seen it. It's what's not to like. It's just luxury all the way. This sounds perfect for me. For us. Um, it's all paid for, so it, it's even better. <laughs> Makes up for the no sleep. <laughs> this is it. It's like I need, I need, yeah, I need my electric blanket, hot water bottle. You know, I just, you know, I can't even sleep. Yeah, I can't even do camping. So for me, I really don't think I would make it through one night. And like you said, the lack of sleep, it gets to you, doesn't it? Oh, boy. Um, Brian Conley was in that year, and he, yeah. he was... He was off his rocker. The whole thing was a, an amazing experience. Yeah. And to be in this like fishbowl, really, with total strangers, with all their yeah. idiosyncrasies. Huh? Yeah, it's really hard to be with total strangers and suddenly have to get on and be in each other's company, you know, that close. The expression thrown in the deep end. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm just about making it through lockdown, let alone anything else. Um, but let's talk about um, Only For Love, which, which was your solo single uh, from 1983. Just love this song. Um, Only For Love, my first solo single after the band broke up. Uh, it was on the, the very first, now that's what I call music. Hey! So uh, there have been a few of those, right? <laughs> nice to be on the oh, first yes. one. Wow. Top 10 in Germany, number one in Scandinavia, um, throughout Europe did very well, did well in the UK. It's got one of those things that I love in pop music. It's got a really fun ooh-ooh. Ooh-ooh, I like that. Well, here it is, Only For Love by Lamal. Here we go. Oh, Lamal, we've now come to the end. It's gone quick, hasn't it? So it's not never ending after all. <laughs> I like what you did there. I like it. Uh, so what's coming up for you? Because I know that you have done a lot of acting, haven't you? Um, I've been studying acting for the last three years. I'm very interested in that. Um, that was an accident. I just went to this act local acting class and kind of got hooked. Um, I've been studying hard. I, I appeared in my first play on the London Fringe. Uh, last October. It was about climate change. The play was called Earthquakes in London and I played a corporate hack. Oh, like it. I'm interested it. in the psychology of characters and the storytelling. Yeah. It's very appealing to me. Uh, I think my first love is, is always going to be music. But yeah. um, if I can dip my toes into acting, that would be fun, you know? You need yeah. fun in life. You really do. We're bringing the fun factor, aren't we, here on a Saturday night. <laughs> but Lamar, you have been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for chatting with me. It's been so good. Oh, thanks, Hayley. I've really enjoyed it. Um, one of my ambitions is to fly into space. Do you want to come with me? <laughs> I haven't had that offer before. <laughs>
Well, one of my ambitions is to sing along with you to one of your songs. Would that be possible? Well, uh, just like Blue Peter, here's one I made earlier. Hey! <laughs> Time. All right, you're going to do the, the bridge, hey boy. Yeah. Tongue tied, a short of breath, don't even try. Try a little harder. Something's wrong, right you're not naive. You must be strong. Mm, baby, try. Here we go, shoot. Hey boy. You've been an amazing guest. Thank you so much, Lamol. Thank you. Thanks, Hayley. That was brilliant. Don't call don't us on the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. You're welcome. Now I think we've got time for another Lamal song. Here it is from 2009. It's Space Cadet. of the Memory Lane 80 show on Spotlight TV. I'm Hayley Palmer and it's been really good to have you here with me this evening. Now, thank you so much for all your lovely messages. I do check all of my social media and it's really good to have your feedback. If I haven't heard from you, why not? Details are on the screen below. Now, a big thank you to the lovely Lamol. Wasn't he just brilliant? I do apologize for my singing. It was really bad, I know. Um, but Lamar was just such a pleasure to interview him. Really good fun. Uh, so big thank you to him. Now remember, I will see you same time, same place next week. Stay safe and I'll see you then.